Already this month, Springfield has seen just over four inches of rain, which is above normal for this point in the month of June. Other parts of our viewing area are also well above that. Raging rivers and a saturated ground is proving troublesome for Morgan County residents who saw nearly five inches of rain overnight. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard has a look at what people in Morgan County are dealing with. This creek, one of many in Jacksonville that overflowed its banks after inches upon inches of rain were dumped on the area. Standing water, a major issue for drivers and this trailer home community in the direct line of fire once again. The rain come down hard and fast and a lot of flooding. Inching toward Peggy Copley's front door. Just standing water now like on my patio and stuff from the hard rain. It's a similar story throughout Rolling Acres Mobile Estates, which fell victim to much more serious flooding three years ago. Oh my, yeah. Jen Kimball remembers the incident well. She managed this property that's home to dozens of families in the area. That part down there is the part that had the flooding, and it would come all the way up behind and all the way on the other side of the lake. This time, just standing water. We didn't have anybody displaced from their homes. The parts of major streets blocked off to traffic, including East Morton Avenue. Some of our underpasses started to flood first, and then with the storm drains being clogged at times, uh, some of the intersections are starting to clog up. You can see this truck is actually passing right through the water right here. Luckily making it through okay. This is absolutely incredible. The current is pretty strong and there's a home about 50 feet away from here that somehow is unscathed. The creek continues to bumble along, lapping over parts of Route Street and drowning out this intersection completely. But as the rain holds off and people go about their daily routines, what once was a raging river is slowly less of a threat. It just takes time. Eventually the water recedes, uh, the roads become passable again, barricades are removed, and uh, traffic's ready to go again. So as this rainy season continues, authorities say it's a good idea to move any belongings or valuables from the basement to a ground level or upper level floor. In Jacksonville, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel 20. Most of those main roadways in Jacksonville have been reopened. Route and Johnson Streets, the two that at this time authorities say are still closed. Regardless of if a street is blocked off or not, if you see standing water, do not drive through it. Remember, turn around, don't drown.